today we are going to learn about orthogonal trajectories let's have a look on its simple definition so the definition says two curves are said to be orthogonal if their tangents are perpendicular to each other so what we, what can we see here is there is one curve and there is another and their tangents are perpendicular to each other let's re let's redraw it, it here this is one curve and it has a tangent oops is a tangent like this and there is another curve which has a tangent like this so basically where they meet perpendicularly if they meet perpendicularly basically so they are said to be orthogonal to each other let's have a look uh, on an example okay so the question uh, we have a question here which says if these two equations are given uh, whether they are orthogonal at their intersection points so first find the intersection points intersection points and second find dy by dx for both so uh, the intersection points are gonna be 3 comma 4 and minus 3 comma minus 4 you can get them by putting value of y in this equation or or solving them simultaneously actually so second step is find dy by dx for both equations so dy by dx for the first equation is going to be dy by dx equals to 4 upon 3x 4 upon 3 and divided by dx for this equation is going to be 2x plus 2y divided by dx equals to 0 so solving for divided by dx this will go here and become negative minus negative 2x upon 2y or simply minus x over y so uh, this is basically uh, equation of circle so at point 3 comma 4 for the equation of line dy by dx yields to be 4 over 3 and for the equation of circle dy by dx is minus 3 over 4 so this point use this answer so we can say that since the tangent at the intersection points are perpendicular therefore the two given functions are orthogonal let's have a look uh, on another example 
so what do we have here c1 times x cube where c is not equal to 0 and x square plus 3y square is equal to c2 where c2 is greater than 0 so from here we get our value of c1 that is uh, y upon x cube now we differentiate the both equations simultaneously so when we differentiate this we get dy by dx equals to 3 times c1 x square dy by dx 3 y upon x cube x square that's actually value of c here x square dy upon dx equals to 3 y upon x so so uh, now differentiating this equation with respect to x we get 2x plus 6y dy by dx equals to 0 dy by dx equals to minus 2x upon 6y or dy by dx equals to minus 1 upon 3 x upon y so here we have two results so hereby we are given with a relation that is m1 multiplied by m2 is equals to minus 1 now we have these two results from these two equations that say this equation is t1 and the second equation was t2 so so we can write since t1 has slope 3y upon x and t2 and t2 has slope minus x upon 3y therefore according to this relation these two ie c1 and c2 are orthogonal because the, their slopes are perpendicular to each other